what's up guardians peace and grease here and today i want to talk a little bit about this particular mission this is a seasonal mission that we received approximately three weeks ago and this is the fell winter's ghost mission now the basic idea is that you take out the fallen that are trying to invade you relight the fires you go in you click the points of investigation and then you collect the ghost and you're done but it turned out to be not so simple when i saw the location that this mission was set in i immediately got excited I started making a list in my head. I'm going up to Felwinter's Peak. I'm going inside the temple. I'm going to ring all the bells. It almost seemed as if Bungie was giving their players a chance to reminisce. But imagine my disappointment when the very things that we would reminisce about were removed. The best things, the most interesting things about this location, Bungie removed. And it is such a shame that D1 players didn't get to see the inside of the temple. Didn't get to go up to Fellwinter's Peak. In fact, if you didn't know, back in D1, there was an achievement. If you rang the bells in a certain order, but that's all removed. I don't even really truly understand why we even use this location if you waste it, which they most certainly did. This was a simple matter of, of saying that Saladin was cloistered with the Cabal, so as such, the artifacts were moved to a more secure location. And if you didn't want our guardians there, which clearly Bungie did not, you could have done it off screen. Had a character go grab Felwinter's ghost from the secure location. Problem solved. Now, this mission, and I'm not trying to blame anybody, but I don't know if it's the writers or the people in charge, but this mission was so awkwardly, uncomfortably, oddly written. It's clear that Bungie did not want our guardians involved in this mission. We immediately become inactive as soon as we as soon as we get the points of investigation and collect the bell winter's ghost that's it it's over it's just anna and osiris talking for half an hour and you can't skip it you can't leave you have to complete the mission or else you have to do it over again and that's a real problem this is a this is an issue that unfortunately bungie has created where they overuse characters and human nature is such that when you overuse something we begin to develop a dislike for it case in point crow for like two to three seasons, Bungie was using Crow, using Crow, using Crow. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that the voice actor does a tremendous job on Crow. But he was always, in every cutscene, he was always had this dialogue. He was always moping around. He was always confused. He was always looking for answers. He was always angry. And eventually, he began to develop a dislike for this character because he's just so overused. The reason I bring this up is because Bungie's at it once again, but this time with Osiris. Again, the issue here is that everything involving Osiris takes two to three times longer because he always gets 12 pages of dialogue. You think I'm joking, but let me explain the situation. After I did this mission the first time, I did not like it. The best aspects of this location were wasted, removed. The, it was oddly written. It was more of, Guardian's not an Iron Lord anymore. And they didn't want us there. I was trying to get this done, get my character up to date so I can join up with my buddies and we can go do the duality dungeon. But after I took out the fallen, lit the fires, grabbed the points of investigation, grabbed Pell Winter's ghost, I kid you not when I say that I had to stand there for 10 minutes doing nothing, being ignored, being excluded the entire time. That's a real problem. I had to tell my buddy, sorry guys, can't squat up yet. I'm, Osiris is talking. They both laughed and said, yeah, you'll be there for a while. Again, I think that the Osiris voice actor does a tremendous job, but he doesn't need 12 pages of dialogue every time. This is a character that years ago, back in Curse of Osiris, I didn't like the character. I thought he was pompous, I thought he was arrogant, and I thought he was pretentious. Now, he doesn't have an official position with Vanguard. He's not a guardian anymore. He doesn't have Segura, his ghost. But he's still arrogant and pretentious and pompous. And Bungie hasn't done anything to change that. But now you're constantly using him over and over and over again, and guess what? Because you're overusing, yet again, another character, I'm beginning to dislike the character. But anyway, those are kind of my thoughts on this particular mission. I would love to hear what you thought about this mission. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was weird? Were you disappointed that the two best aspects of this location were removed? And until next time, peace out.